Okay, so I had to come to Kroger today because we are out of stuff. Okay, there's one. Okay, so I'm sitting in my car. Okay, two. I'm sitting in my car watching people come in and out because now the CDC recommends that you wear a face mask. And I have one thanks to my lovely aunt who sewed some. And I have literally seen 20 people without them. So far, I have seen two people with them. I'm going to wear mine because... I'm not going to risk it. Oh, is that a little bit of... Yes, hand sanitizer. Um, I'm going to wear mine. And people can just look at me, I guess. I mean... Now, the only thing is I don't have gloves, but I have hand sanitizer. So, when I come out, I'll just... Okay, there's three. That's one of the workers. When I come out, I'll just sanitize my hands. I have my list. Because, see, last week I had a, a quick list from Walmart. And they didn't have a few things I needed. And then all of our local stores, Kroger's and Walmart, you can't even do online shopping right now. And P.S., why did I put on makeup when I was going to wear a face mask? I think I just I sat down after church on our online service and I just turned on some worship music. Oh, there's another one. Um, and There's another one. Well, okay, now I'm starting to feel better. I'm No, granted, though, the guy wearing the face mask is smoking. Um, after our Zoom church service, I sat down, I turned on some worship music, and I just put on my makeup after the boys went down for a nap. Um, that's not the point. But anyway, I gotta get in here and get out. One, I'm starving. Two, I don't want to be in here very long. Three, I'm just ready to get done. So, now I wonder, though, if this is going to, um, fog up because of my glasses. Like, look at this. Isn't my aunt the coolest thing ever? Like... She made me one, this cute pink one. She made the hubs one that looks like a bandana. And she even made the kids one. It was so cute. They're two little, yeah, see, there goes my glasses fogging up. She even made the kids um, little face masks that have like the rubber they're like super small and they're Mickey Mouse, which of course my son is all about because he loves Mickey Mouse. So I washed those today. How can I keep, hmm, can I put these over my glasses? That's not going to help. Yo, people with glasses, how do you keep your glasses from fogging the entire time? Maybe if I make this part tighter, it will come out the bottom. I don't know. How do how do surgeons do it? Because don't they wear like... Um, now let me see. Does the husband have one? Yep, the husband had one. Good job, him. How do surgeons do it? Because I know they have to wear like stuff. Okay, maybe I just got to like put it clear up into my... Okay, there we go. Alright, looking cute. Let's get a thumbnail. Alright, let's do this shenanigans. Okay, I just got out of the store. I have never gone faster in my entire life. I am sweating. My, I kept steaming um, up under my glasses so I couldn't see. I was sweating because I felt like I couldn't breathe. I was starting to get a little bit anxious because that mask over my face. So I ended up, I don't know if this completely defeated the whole purpose or not, but I ended up finding an aisle where nobody was in and I just kind of like took it off the bass pulled it down breathe put it back on because I just I had to get some fresh air I wasn't going to be able to finish I I seriously thought I was gonna have an anxiety attack from that my makeup came off under it again why did I put makeup on I do not know wow hello blending harshness welcome to the party um shouldn't have touched my eyes but I did sanitize my hands I sanitized this phone um, oh my gosh, I'm so glad to be out of there. It actually wasn't bad. Um, pretty much everything I needed was there, except for like sanitizing wipes. They even had toilet paper. Um, so that was exciting. I uh, got all the food I needed. 
And so for me personally, it wasn't a bad trip. It was a little bit expensive because I did like double up on a lot of stuff. But that's because I'm hoping next week I don't have to go to the store at all. Or if I do, I can just go to save a lot and just get a few things I need and get out. Or even have Josh like go in and get stuff. Because I really, wow, my brows are so dark. Um, I really don't want to go to the grocery store again. So I got everything I could think of. So I'm going to reward myself with something to eat and then head home and unpack all these groceries onto the porch. Take everything out of the boxes, cardboard boxes, undress, change my clothes, wash my hands, go to sleep. <laughs> How cute. Lizzie, I see your dozers. You can tell we're getting close to nap time. Aww said anything big Bubba took your spot okay so we're about a half hour out from nap time so I am quickly going to shut this gate best thing ever so glad that's the props of moving into your a house that your parents used to own and they baby proofed it for grandkids it's now baby proof for your kids because they they planned it ahead of time um, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, so we're a half hour out from nap time. So, uh, let's change the, hold on. Prop you up there, see how that works. So, half hour out from nap time, I'm going to go ahead and start a load of laundry. Then, going to straighten up my room because I want to focus on um, Bible, my Bible study today during their nap time. So I want to straighten everything up so that I'm not inclined to just jump in bed. So I went ahead and did my hair, brushed my teeth, got dressed the whole nine. So I'm awake. I'm going to get me some cold water. And that way I'll be ready to go for my Bible study. So I'm going to quickly start this little laundry. And then we will whip back upstairs. Wait for mommy. Wait for daddy. Yeah, go that way. Wait, come here. Stop. Look over there. What's that? What is that? What? You want to take it on the playground? Wow. What do you tell daddy? <laughs> Can you say thank you, daddy? Thank you, Duke. Do you love it? Come on, Wendy. Look at you. Now you can walk out here. Yeah. With your big boy shoes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, now he can stand there and do what Steven does. There you go. Go put it in your basket. Woo! What do you think, Wazzy? Wazzy! Stephen, do you see the bunnies? Yeah, Wesley's about to go out the door. No, no, come here. We don't want Wesley to fall. Hey, get back here. Wow. Oh, boy. Come here. Wow, this looks like. Which bunny do you want? You want blue? It says, no bunny loves you like Jesus. This one says, we miss you. Miss you. Is this one for Wesley? Oh, boy. Ooh, hello. All right, so I am trying to just 
get ready today. The boys woke up at 6.30, so it's only 8.30. We're, like, generally just now eating breakfast, and we've already been up for two hours. So, I am going to try to throw on my face a little bit so that I don't feel so blah. I've been starting out lately using the L'Oreal H Perfection Hydra Nutrition Day Cream. Um, I had got this a while back because I had coupons from CVS and um, I just really wanted to try it. Well then I was watching Emily Noel and she had a dupes video and funny enough this product she actually duped with the <coughs> excuse me <coughs> it's not Rona I swear she duped with the Bobbi Brown whatever that really popular product is from Bobbi Brown that I will never buy because it's a zillion dollars. Um, but it does. It has like a super thick whipped creamy texture. So I have been starting out lately using a little bit of this to moisturize my face. It does have a little bit of a scent. Well, okay. It has a scent. It's kind of florally. It's not bad. Um, it is a little bit strong coming out the gate, but it doesn't linger very long. So I've really been trying to get it, especially like around my nose. Like right in here is so dry right now. And on my cheeks. And I've even been using it um, under my eyes. And then I just kind of go in with this little sponge and really pat it in. And I just really kind of hit my T-zone. I don't worry so much about it there. But I have been loving starting with this for the morning time. And then for eyes, um, this product I feel like is really underrated or hasn't been spoken about much. It is from e.l.f. I don't know the exact name of it. It's in the shade gold. Sorry, I'm having a hard time talking. I don't know the exact name of it. It's in the shade golden. But it is this bronzer that has four different colors in it. Like you have this cool tone, a lighter, a little bit warmer, and then this super dark cool tone. Um, now the only thing about it is these are a little bit sparkly, glittery, but not horribly or anything. But I have been using this because I will go in with my, I go in with this brush and I hit across the top and I will just put this into the crease of my eye to give me some definition. Okay, then I'll tap into this darker shade and really get that right here in my eyelid crease. Then I'll just take my finger into this lightest shade and apply that all over the lid. And voila, it just gives my eyes just a little bit of definition and dimension okay so then I've been going in with the covergirl clean fresh silk milk nourishing foundation and I just do a little on my cheek and a little bit on my forehead I did this the other day and I thought I looked very fresh and just I don't know I really liked it as the what I can tell you. I thought, wow, I look so just refreshed and even, and I didn't feel like I was overdone, um, and it honestly just made me feel more awake and more eager to do things because I wasn't still sitting around in my pajamas. So I thought, let's do that again today since it's only 8.30. I'm never this awake and productive generally. I've already ate breakfast, fed the boys, changed diapers. Now the gist is though, they, especially Weston, I doubt if he lasts past 1030 before he needs to go down for a nap. I am going to try to remain productive until their nap time. And then I need to work on the last couple questions for my Bible study tonight while they're napping. Or honestly, by that point, I may nap. Because I doubt Josh will make it home tonight. If he does, it'll be really, really, really late. And I'll probably have to do bedtime alone. Okay, so, then just the cover girl. Then I go in with 
some of my NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. This is in the shade Alabaster. Oh, this was in the shade Light oh, 510 Porcelain. And I do make this a little bit of a triangle because I want just a little bit more coverage on my cheeks. So I let that sit for just a second. Let's see how we looking so far. Oh, we need to do eyebrows. Okay, so let that sit. And then I will go in and blend that out. Okay, so that's all blended out. And then I've been playing with this. I don't really have any opinions on it just yet. The Halo Glow Powder from e.l.f. This is in the light shade. I'll take some of this. Set my under eyes. And I did blend that concealer down onto my cheeks just a little bit for some extra coverage. What are you doing, pup? Huh? What are you doing back there, little girl? And then I'll just take it on my brush and set the rest of my face. Alright. So there's that. Again. <sighs> wow, I made a mess with that. Um, I haven't really formed my opinions on it just yet, so I'll have to keep playing with it before I tell you how I feel about it. Okay, so for eyebrows, I've been using just really whatever is in my bag. Today I just have this Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil. It's in the shade Auburn. This is way too dark for me. It doesn't match my hair at all, but I'm just going to use it because it's right here. So basically because it is too dark for me, I go in with a super, super light hand. And then I just use my spoolie to really disperse that product because I don't want a lot. Like, yeah, see, it's way too dark. This is not the right color for me at all. But again, oh well. Bronzer. I'm using the same palette that I used on my eyes. And I am going to go in and hit this darker shade. These two. Okay, so I'm going to go with these two shades right here and use that to contour a little bit. Then I'm going to tap into these two shades that are a little bit cooler and bronze the rest of my... Honestly, for bronze, I just like swirl it. I don't even really super focus on any one color. For blush and highlight, I have just been using my Physician's Formula Warm Nude Palette. Uh, I actually did a video I'll link up here showing how I did basically all my face makeup using this one product. So, for blush, I am going to tap in to these this kind of pinky area right here, okay? And then for highlight, excuse me, I'm going to kind of tap into these two top shades right here. A little bit of that lightest pink and the very lightest shade. And then I am just going to take my finger, tap into those same two shades, and use that just as a little bit of highlight on the eyes to really bring them forward. For lips, just because I'm hanging around at home, I've been using my Believe Beauty Gloss, Lustrous Lip Gloss in the shade, I think it's like Huckleberry, Juneberry. I knew it was a berry something. And then I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with my Wet n Wild spray. Ugh! Come on, girl. You got this. You got this. Nope. She doesn't have this. Okay, hold on. Ooh, coconut. All right, and then for mascara, use whatever you want. I think I'm going to switch. I think today, I have been using my Lash Princess in the green, but today I think I'm going to jump in with my NYX on the Rise Mascara. So then, last step, I'm going to go in with some of my High Glass Finishing Powder from NYX. And I am just going to hit my T-Zone. See how just like awake and fresh I look? Oh, I like That wasn't the last step. So the last step I'm going to do, just because like, it's nothing anybody else would notice, but it bothers me. I'm just going to tap into a little bit of these two shades and just run that on my bottom lid. And that's it. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Is that everything I used? 12 was my spread. So basically, I got ready with these 12 items. So, let's actually do a little bit of, and put, I'm going to leave those two in here just in case. Okay. Alright, so now let's put all of this stuff in here. So now I have, a, oh, now I should have put this on and I forgot. My user and daily protection face lotion, broad spectrum, SPF 30. Totally forgot about that. Should have put that on. So let's put that over there so maybe next time I will notice it. And voila. There's my daily makeup. Here's my bag. If I'm not like planning on filming or anything today, because today I'm not. My plan for today is to be super productive around the house. Like I have 712,000 loads of laundry. Um, I want to start taking all this stuff and moving it because I want to paint. Uh, I'm getting ready to redecorate this room. I want to, look how yellow my teeth are. That makes me so sad. I want to start working on the boys' rooms because I'm sick of them just looking rough. Like, I want them to look nice. I want them to feel homey. And right now they don't because they're not very well decorated. So I'm going to throw my hair up. I'm going to export this footage, and then we are going to try to be productive today. 